Hi there. My name is Suzanne Bryan. I am a TKGA certified master hand knitter and this video is going to be about noops. I have information in the description of the video which you can find down here below the video. Sometimes you have to click up in the left hand corner depending on the device you're using but you'll be able to get to the tutorial that this um, video is associated with. It's called Lacework, a skill building tutorial by Suzanne Bryan. And I also have contact information where you can contact me directly on Ravelry or through my group on Ravelry Knitting with Suzanne Bryan or my group Knitting with Suzanne Bryan on Facebook. There will also be links to the associated videos with this at the end of this video. So here we go. We're talking about noops. I'm going to demonstrate how, demonstrate how to create them using the English method and the Continental method. I'm also going to show how to tink them and some of the um, errors that can be made and how to avoid them. So we're going to start with the Continental method and we're going to make a noop. So we're going to work over to the position of our noop. Now a noop is a group of stitches, this is what it looks like when you're done, made in one stitch. And typically there you make you make an odd number. So you could do five, seven, or nine new stitches in this one stitch. We're going to do seven. And you also uh, have best results if you're using a lace weight yarn and very pointy needles. This is a lace weight yarn. This is US4 um, sharp lace needles from Chowgu. I also like the Haya Haya sharps. They also have equally pointy needles. So here we go. We're going to make the first noop. So we're going, I'm stretching the yarn between the stitches. Normally I tell people to work on the tips of their needles. When you're making a noop you want to work on the barrel of the receiving needle. So you go into the stitch, make a new stitch, but you do not remove the stitch from the left needle. And then I'm pulling out so that it stretches this first stitch. I'm pulling away and it's on the barrel. I make a yarn over on the barrel, make another stitch through the loop on the barrel of the right needle. Yarn over, you want to keep these loose. Don't be pulling tight with this finger, keep them loose and make sure they don't cross each other. So we have four, five, seven. So we have two, four, six, seven, and they should not be crossing. Then we're going to work over to the placement of the second one, and I'm going to do that English style. I'm going to move the yarn to my right hand. Again, I'm keeping very, no tension on this yarn. I'm just holding it in position, but not putting tension on it. Go through the stitch, through to the barrel of the right needle. Make a stitch on the right needle. Keep it on the barrel. Do not remove the stitch from the left needle. Then bring the yarn forward to create a yarn over. Make the next stitch on the barrel of the right needle. Pull it through. I'm keeping a very loose tension on the right yarn, the working yarn on the right needle, yarn forward, that's four, to the barrel, five, yarn forward, through the barrel, that's six, and seven. So we have two, four, six, seven, and then we're going to make the next stitches and then we'll return. The return row is where we knit or purl all of those stitches together. If you were working in the round, on the next round you would knit them together through the back loop. But we're going to purl the next row. So we turn our work and I'm going to do the first one continental style and the second one English. Now the pitfalls are accidentally including the stitch before or the stitch after. We just want the seven stitches that are in the noop. And these are the seven stitches. Two, four, six, seven. 
right there. It's act, very easy to accidentally include that stitch or this stitch or to leave one stitch out. So this has a lot of counting associated with it. You're going to need to count the noops, the uh, loops in the noop as well as the stitches before and after. So we know there's three stitches after it so we work purl three stitches. Now we're going to go through the noop. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are our seven loops. We push these up onto the tip of this needle and that's when you can accidentally push this stitch up to. Be careful to keep it down here separated. Then you're going to use the tip of the right needle and go through all of these loops and you kind of worm your way through. You can feel if they're going through and this does take practice. You're probably not going to be perfect on the very first one you do. So both tips are going through the needles. This is where the sharp points really help because they're narrow and you can fit them both through all the loops at the same time. Then you make your purl stitch and you hold this firmly so that this new stitch does not slide off as you're pulling it through and you pull the new stitch through all. So there we have our noop. Now we're going to work over and do the next one. I should also say once you have it on here tighten up your stitch then work to the next one. So we've got three stitches between. Here's our noop. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to switch over to the English method. And we're going to purl through these. So Again, we slide all of the stitches up onto the tip of the left needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got to count them. Then put the right tip through, kind of worm your way through. You don't want to split any of these through those seven loops. So now you see the needles are kind of parallel with each other. They're not like this. You can't do it like that. You have them parallel and just on the tips of both needles throw the yarn around the tip of the right needle holding the yarn firmly. Pull it through. Then tighten the stitch. Now what if you need to take this out? What if you made a mistake? You simply put the left needle back through where the yarn is traveling. Pull the yarn out and they're all back over here and you still need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all on there. You need to make sure they don't twist over each other. Stay in their correct order. So let's, let me finish this one again and then we'll take a look on the other side and see how they look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go down through these. Create our stitch. These are Chow Gu lace needles. They have a very nice sharp point. We'll tighten up our stitch and we're finished to the end. And then we're going to turn and look at, look at these. Again, they're best worked in lightweight yarn with sharp needles. So we're here we have them and you can see they want to float halfway between the front of the fabric and the back of the fabric. Can you see that? But as you work the next rows, they'll pop forward. And when you block it, you can make sure that they're pop forward. I hope you enjoyed my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, there's a little place where you can just click on the video here at the end to subscribe. Share my videos with your friends and come back and watch some more. Happy knitting!